Assalamu alaikum. Um, first of all, I welcome you all uh, for this course, Sports Injuries. And today we are going to talk about uh, the basic introduction about sports injury. Let's see, uh, the, it is one of the very important uh, elective subject uh, in the master field. So uh, let me explain some important uh, components uh, or the important aspects of uh, this course. So let's see uh, the uh, definition of uh, sports injuries. It is refers to the kind of injuries that most commonly occur during sports or exercise, right? So these sports injuries, how the sports injuries are differ from other musculoskeletal injuries. So there is a specific difference, right? So there is a significant difference between these musculoskeletal injuries and the sports injuries. So these injuries are occurring do, during the sports, during any type of games or during any type of play activities or during exercises. Right, so generally, you know, the sports injuries uh, occurs due to some accidents, right? So it is unexpected accidents, right? So it occurs due to unexpected active accidents. So the scientists, research scientists in the field of sports injuries, they have found there are some other reasons uh, for these sports injuries. So the first one, they have found poor training practices, right? Poor training practices means if a player or an athlete are not trained properly, right? So if their training is not good, so it may lead to some type of injuries. It may lead to some type of sports injury. So the first cause for the sports injury is poor training practices, right? So if they have not been trained properly, right? So that is known as poor training practices. And the second one, improper equipments, right? So, you know, in many of the sports, uh, they are using some protective equipments, right? The helmets, pads, kidney pads, uh, shin, uh, shin pads, right? Uh, the safety shoes and uh, gloves, right? So these are the protective equipments they are using uh, to prevent some of the injuries, right? So in some cases, if these players are not using the proper equipments, if they are not using the equipment, or if they are not using the right size of the equipments, it may lead to some type of injuries. And the third, a lack of conditioning, right? So if they are not fit enough, right? If they are not fit enough for the particular game, so which may lead to sports injuries, right? So for example, if a person or if a player is trained in uh, football, he is not able to play the other activity, other games. Like if he's, he will not be able to do uh, basketball or handball or any games. So this is... Uh, is lack of conditioning if the person or a player is not it is and finally they found warm up or stretching right doing uh, any games right so before participating in any games uh, they are supposed to uh, involve in the warm -up phase, right so uh, it consists of uh, free movements of the body and uh, stretching activities right so it is mandatory to prevent such, such type of sports injuries. So when you come to the types of sports injuries, uh, it is classified as two types. You can say it is one is acute injuries and chronic injuries. Skeletal injuries, the acute and chronic injuries, that depends upon the duration, right? So generally we classify acute injuries and chronic injuries in the general musculoskeletal injuries, depends upon the duration. So for example, if the injury is less than seven days, we used to say it is acute injury. And if the injury is more than two months, right? If the, if the problem or if the injury is, uh, exceeds more than two months, we used to say it's chronic injury. But when you come to the sports injuries, uh, it is a little different. I will explain you how it is different from the musculoskeletal injuries. So generally you can say uh, all the sports injuries are active. So I will explain you the acute and chronic injury in detail in the forthcoming slides. And these injuries are due to direct blows, torsions, or shearing, right? So if there is any direct uh, uh, contact between the objects, there is a chances of injuries. Or if there is any type of uh, torsions means due to the rotatory force. Or shearing force means uh, the opponent force, right? So oppo opponent's force, 
these are the right, the wrong or uh, abnormal 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 opponent forces it is known as shearing forces right so these forces which may produce uh, injury to the structures so when you see the structures in our body it is classified into two types one you can say the soft tissues another one you can say it's a hard tissues so what is soft tissues you can say the structures like skin the organs tendons the ligaments the nerves the blood vessels which is present in our body is known as soft tissues and the next one is hard tissues so what do you mean by hard tissues hard tissue means the bone is the only hardest structure it is a very strong structure in our body so you can say it is a hard tissues so the injury may be right so the sports injuries right so the injuries may be occur in the soft tissues or in the hard tissues right the soft tissues means all the soft structures which is made up of connective tissue you can say it is soft tissues right so you can say the skin all the organs like um, you can say uh, the heart the lungs the brain everything right so which is present is made up of connective tissues and the muscles the tendons the ligaments the capsules the nerve fibers and the blood vessels all the structures which are uh, soft in nature it comes under the soft tissues but the hard tissues right you know in our body the bone is the only hard structure which is present in our body so you can say these are hard tissues now let me explain about uh, the acute injuries right so it is characterized by sudden appearance of symptoms usually associated with a single traumatic accidents right so the acute injuries acute injuries means it is happened in a single incident right so direct so if the force is very high or if there is a, a strong accident or if there is any strong collision it may leads the problem it may leads the injury right it may produce the injury so you can say it is acute injury right acute injury means the sudden occurrence right so the sudden appearance right so there is no long term uh, history right so there is no long term history behind the injury right so it is happened due to the sudden appearance or sudden occurrence of this injury is known as acute injuries so let me give some uh, important uh, examples for the acute injuries you can say strains so i will explain you strains strains the other uh, the details of this so you can say strains is a type of acute injury the sprain is a type of acute injury the dislocations in the joints or contusions or the fractures right so all uh, these types right so these type of uh, uh, type of injuries are comes under the category of acute injuries right so you can say strains the sprains the dislocation of the joint contusions and the fractures in the bone so you understand very clearly acute injuries means it happened very fast right acute injuries means there is no long medical history for the problem right it occurs very fast. it is occurs suddenly it occurs sudden occurrence or sudden appearance right so you can say it is a acute injuries so uh, now you see uh, the acute injuries i have shown some of Uh, collided with a ball in front of the face so you know there is a possibility of uh, injury to the neck muscles or uh, or sometimes uh, hyperextension injury of the neck and in the below the next picture you know the two uh, players are collided with each other and there is a possibility of injury and in the third you can see the there is a uh, hyjen uh, you know the person uh, fell uh, with the head so there is a possibility of injury to the spine or uh, the vertebral region so this type of injuries which occurs suddenly you can say it is known as acute injuries right so the sudden occurrence or sudden appearance of such injuries are you known as uh, uh, acute injuries let me explain some of the important causes of the acute injuries collision with the opponents or obstacles you can see if you are um, face if you are facing with some uh, opposite player or if you are facing with some opposite obstacles right if they are not facing not uh, approaching you properly in a proper direction and it may produce injury to your body so this you can consider as a acute injury and the same same if you are struck by an object right so if you are right so for example you are uh, playing a soccer or football for example you are uh, you are running very fast and you are not um, find the person in front of you 
or sometimes you are not finding the goal post so you are stuck with an object so there may be a chances of injury to your body it comes under the category of uh, the sports injuries or sometimes you can say the falling from a height or the speed right so in uh, sometimes in cases of uh, the, uh, high jump or you can say in some case in types of gymnastics right so the persons who are doing the gymnastics uh, they are uh, they are jumping from the height so sometimes if they are land if they are not landing properly uh, there may be a chance of getting injuries so all the, these are the causes you can say it is a uh, type of acute injuries so now uh, we will see uh, what happen uh, right so what are the features right what are the clinical features of uh, this acute injuries right so these injuries typically involve significant trauma followed by right so there is a injury in the soft tissues right along with these soft tissue injuries the patient uh, the player will show some of the important features one is pain swelling and tenderness and loss of function so there is a pain around the area right so the pain around the region uh, always you know whenever there is an uh, external injury even if there is any external tissue injuries immediate the immediate feature is pain and you can find a swelling in that area right so due to the uh, collection of extracellular fluid so you can find immediate swelling in the region and the third you can find there is a limited motions or you can say limited functions in the region so for example if a player if an uh, athlete or a player um, uh, uh, experienced ankle sprain so what happened there is the injury to the lateral ligament uh, lateral collateral ligament of the ankle joint which may produce pain and you can find there is a, uh, swelling around the ankle joint and the person is not able to do the movements the movements means the person is not able to do the uh, plantar flexion or dorsiflexion or any movements the critical force magnitude of a single force for which the anatomical structure of injury is damaged right so you know uh, the particular force right so that force if the if, if the if the intensity or you can say if the intensity or the magnitude of the force is more than uh, the force or more than that force there is a chances of uh, damage uh, chances of injury or there is a chances of damage to these structures so these are the uh, important clinical features in cases of acute injury uh, acute injury the first and there is section of that is known as swelling and there is a limited range of motion or you can say there is a limited uh, function in the particular area so uh, we have uh, discussed about acute injury so acute injury means it is a sudden appearance or sudden occurrence of the um, Uh, and uh, it happens to the athletes or the players right so the pain swelling and loss of functions are the features and um, uh, the, the strain sprain or uh, fractures the dislocations are the types of acute injuries now let me explain about the chronic injuries right so so what is chronic injury so the chronic injury is also called overuse injuries or you can say stress injury so the other name right so the other name for the chronic injuries or overuse injuries or stress injuries so uh, so you just uh, find the difference right you just understand the difference between the acute and the chronic injuries in chronic injuries you have a long medical history right? you have a long history of that particular problem right so that is known as overuse injury if you are using uh, your shoulder or if you are using your elbow for a long uh, time so what happened there is a possibility of micro rupture or micro uh, damage or micro injury to these structures which may produce a problem in one stage that stage is known as chronic injuries or for example stress injuries right so you are for example you are a marathon uh, runner or you are a continuous runner so what happen you produce continuous stress on the uh, joints or continuous stress on the bones which may produce um, micro rupture or micro fracture in the structures in the uh post bearing areas which may lead to uh, injuries so this is gradual onset right so you have a long history of the you have a long medical history it is gradual onset but you know acute injury is a sudden onset right so in chronic injury it is a gradual onset and you have a long medical history and are caused by repetitive light trauma to the soft tissue or bone right so you know the chronic injury can be happen in the soft tissues or in the hard tissues 
right so you know for example in cases of uh, tennis elbow right what happened there is a repeated movements in the uh, so contraction of the uh, wrist extensors right so you know there is a forceful contraction of the extensors when you are playing the tennis uh, it may leads to the rupture at the lateral epicondyle which may leads to tennis elbow or uh, there is an example for the bone you know the person who is running every day for 3 to 4 hours per day uh, during the treadmill or in the abnormal train so what happen there is a continuous stress on the shin of the tibia which produce fracture in the tibia right so these two these are the types which comes under the chronic injuries <coughs> so these injuries are commonly called overuse injuries you know it is because of using your part right because of using your uh part uh, you are either it may be a soft tissues or a hard tissues um the common sites include the achilles tendon right so there is a possibility of injury to the achilles tendon that is the extension of the calf muscles or patellar tendon so in cases of uh, athletes who are doing the jumping activities right so in such cases for example in cases of basketball there is a uh, basketball uh, there is a chances of patellar tendinitis and the rotator cuff right so there is a possibility of involvement for example throwing uh, games like uh, rugby or in cricket or handball or in the baseball uh, in such games you know there is a need uh, to uh, there is a need of uh, throwing activities so uh, in such cases chances of injury to the in a, uh, suddenly right so these are happening a very slow manner right so this is known as gradual onset right so it is happening very slowly so what are the examples you can say the tennis elbow uh, that is inflammation of that shin splints that is pain in the tibial part uh, the shin tibia inflammation of the bursa in cases of rotator cuff injuries or in cases uh, due to continuous rupture of the tibia so uh, when you see the types right when you see the types uh, uh, that is uh, chronic injury uh, we have classified this overuse injuries uh, into two types one you can say intrinsic factors another one is extrinsic factors the cause right so the cause for the overuse injuries are classified into two types one is intrinsic factors and another one is the extrinsic factors so what is intrinsic factors intrinsic factors means the factors are inside the body right so the factors which are ready raised from the inside part inside of your body it is known as intrinsic factors and extrinsic factors means the causes which is from the outside that is known as extrinsic factors so for example let me explain the uh, points under the intrinsic factors immature cartilage right so if the, if the subject if the player has a problem in the cartilage uh, development right so if the cartilage is not developed properly there is a chance of injury to the cartilage or lack of flexibility some uh, some players have uh, hypertonicity or some persons have uh, tight muscles right so the flexibility of the body is less so there is a possibility of injury to these structures or lack of proper conditioning right so you know the person is not trained properly right so you know before uh, participating in any games right either it may be a, a football or volleyball or basketball or uh, athletes uh, game Uh, field events or games or anything right so you need a proper training or you need a proper conditioning right so if you are not trained properly uh, which may leads uh, injuries to the uh, body or injuries to the soft tissues or hard tissues in your body or sometimes the psychological factors right so these are the causes which are found as under the intrinsic factors so what are the extrinsic factors excessive training right so sometimes uh, if you are trained more sometimes that is overuse injury right so if you are training more also a problem or lack of adequate recovery right so if you are not uh, so you got an injury and before healing or before recovery before proper recovery or before adequate recovery if you are going into the uh, field or we are going into the game again there is a the chances of injury to the structures or incorrect techniques right so so for every game right for every game there are some certain uh techniques right so you have to follow the particular technique right so if you are not trained in proper coach or proper uh the therapist there is a chances of uh, injury to the structures right playing on uneven or hard surfaces right so if the the terrain right so the playing surface is also very important right and repeated powerful movements right so the continuous strong contraction of the 
muscles right so this is uh, the, the causes right so these are the causes of extrinsic factors and what are the common sports injuries right so what are the common sports injuries you can say ankle sprains right so sprain at the ankle joint or um, quadriceps sprain right so the sprain at the uh, quadriceps muscle or hamstring strain right so it is happened in the muscles hamstring or shin splints shin splints means pain in the shin right so tibial pain or there is a possibility of injury to the anterior cruciate ligament or golfer's elbow that is known as medial epicondylitis or tennis elbow you can say it is lateral epicondylitis or plantar fasciitis inflammation of the plantar fascia or sometimes there is a chances of low back pain and runner's knee runner's knee means it is patellar tendinitis right these are the uh, common injuries right so these are the common sports injuries uh, that you can expect in a uh, player generally right <clears throat> and catastrophic injuries right so catastrophic injuries means these are the life threatening injuries right you know it involved damage to the brain or spinal cord right For example uh, person uh, like uh, uh, bike race or uh, the car race <clears throat> so what happened there is a possibility of injury to the Uh, right if they are driving in a very fast right so at the speed of uh, 300 or 400 km speed uh, which uh, sometimes if they were hit or if they are not able to control so there is a chances of uh, getting a huge accidents which may leads uh, to the injury to the brain and the spinal cord so this also comes under the sports injuries right so it involve damage to the brain or the spinal cord can be life threatening or cause permanent damage right so what does it mean it's a life threatening means sometimes the player may uh, die or sometimes they may have uh, permanent damage uh, it means they may have the paralysis right uh, they uh, become handicapped right so like paraplegia or uh, depends upon the site of involvement uh, in the brain on the spinal cord uh, the player may get the permanent damage sometimes there is loss of limbs or sometimes uh, paralysis of the limbs or, uh, which may be happened so it may be a life threatening or produce the permanent damage can occur as a direct or indirect results of sports participation right so it is uh, this this catastrophic injuries right so these catastrophic injuries may be happen uh, due to the direct or uh, indirect uh, involvement of the any type of sports uh, activities right so catastrophic catastrophic means you can say it is very dangerous right and the next one this i think you might be knowing sprains this is the normal terminology that uh, we are commonly using in the uh, in our department physical therapy department so we can normally come, come across such a problem in every day to day life uh, the sprains so the sprains are injuries to the ligaments right so if it occurs if there is an injury to the ligament you can say it is sprain so sprains are injuries to the ligaments so the first degree there is a mild pain with no swelling right so you know there is a uh, in first degree so you can see there is a, a slight pain in the particular area right so when you touch that area you have a slight pain but uh, there is no swelling and in the second degree you can see there is a partial damage to the ligament you have pain, uh, and you have a swelling in that area and uh, there is a dysfunction right so dysfunction means you cannot able to do the movement right so the plantar flexion dorsiflexion or uh, the inversion and the eversion the third degree you can say it comes under the complete tear of the ligaments there is a total cut of the ligament you have pain swelling dis uh, dysfunction and uh, you cannot able to do any of the activities or you cannot able to do any of the functions right so uh, this is known as sprains right so the sprains uh, the ligament sprains are the common sports injury Uh, that you can see in most of the sports in uh, in uh, field field games right so in most of the field games you can find uh, this injury very commonly and the next one uh, same like sprains the next one is known as strains so what do you, what does it mean strain right so what strain means it happens to the muscles right so you can see are the injuries to the tendons the muscles or musculoskeletal tendinous junction so there is a difference between the sprain and the strain right the sprain occurs in the ligaments and the strain occurs in the muscles or in the tendons or in the musculotendinous junction so let me explain some of the important uh, stage or degree of uh, first uh, muscle strain in the first degree strain the same there is a mild pain right so with little or no swelling pain noticeable with use 
and second degree you have more extensive soft tissue injury right so you have uh, you can say the partial uh, rupture to the muscles or you have pain and uh, there is a loss of moderate loss of uh, function and in the third degree the same like uh, sprain you have the complete rupture or complete cut of the muscle uh, due to the strong force and um, you have pain and you have loss of function and you have uh, more uh, swelling in that particular area and uh, next to the strains right so you have a, a type that is known as contusions you can say it is commonly referred to as a bruise right so you can say rupture of the blood vessels right so condition means are commonly referred as bruises right or you can say uh, bruises or ecchymosis we used to say ecchymosis it is result from direct blows to the body surface right if there is any direct injury to your body causing a compression of the underlying tissues right so you know the structures or the tissues under the uh, blowing area become compressed right so the conditions are associated with pain right so you have pain in that area you have stiffness right so the area become very uh, tight and it is known as stiffness swelling ecchymosis ecchymosis means you can see the blood vessels right so ecchymosis means you can find there is a rupture of the blood vessels or hematoma right after bruises you know this blood become clot and you can find the localized uh, blood clot formation right so that is known as hematoma formations so uh, the finally this may leads to myositis ossifications right so you can see generally it is known as uh, uh, generally you can find this uh, area become uh, the deposition of so for, for this you know it may leads to the calcification and this known as myocarditis ossifications right so the muscle uh, deposit more amount of calcium in the particular localized region which may leads to myositis ossifications so we have discussed about the soft tissue injuries right so we have discussed about catastrophic injuries um, uh, ligament strain uh, ligament sprains and muscle strain and other type of uh, injuries right so now um, uh, soft tissue injuries right so we have discussed about contusions uh, acumizes ecchymosis right so now the heart tissue injuries that is known as skeletal tissue injury so you can say the skeletal tissue injuries the fracture right so you know if there is any injury to the bone we can say it is fracture right so it means it is there is any uh, lack of continuation uh, in the bone is known as fractures uh, you might be knowing there are different type of fractures uh, so but uh, generally uh, we can classify into three types right so open fracture closed fracture and the stress fracture so these are the uh, uh, these are the some types of fracture right so you have many other types right so according to different uh, classifications type of fractures but uh, especially in sports injuries right so just we discussed about these three uh, fractures in detail right closed fractures open fractures and uh, stress fractures so happen in the heart tissues right you know uh, the separation of the joint surfaces right so you know the dislocations happens in the joints right you know uh, joints means the meeting point of the two bones right where what happen there is a chance of separation due to the uh, uh, abnormal and uh, high forces right so the dislocation you can say the displacement of the contiguous uh, surface or bones comprising a joint right so this is known as dislocation so that means partial displacement so if uh, only uh, the one one part of the joint is displaced off uh, you can say it is partial displacement or you can say subluxation Application should be diagnosed and treated by a uh, physician, right? Immediately, uh, once you identify uh, any player or an athlete uh, who uh, who experience or who met with uh, dislocations, immediately you should refer the uh, player or the athlete <coughs> to your physician or so called sports physician. Sports physician. And I will show you some of the important pictures, which shows some idea about these injuries. You can see this picture, uh, hard and soft tissue injuries, right? So you see this picture. The person is falling uh, while playing football, and you can see the hard tissue injuries or bone injuries, right? So you know this person got a fracture in the uh, leg, right? You can see there is a fracture in the leg. Uh, this is considered as a hard tissue injuries. And in the next picture, you can see the soft tissue injuries. Which involve damage to the skin, uh, the muscles, tendons, ligaments, or cartilage. Right? So, 
uh, you should be very clear, clear and you should be very careful right so about the hot tissue injuries and the soft tissue injuries so in the soft tissue injuries an open injury means so in soft tissue injury you have open and closed right uh, so in open injury means that the skin has been broken uh, blood usually escapes right so in open injury you can see there is a uh, cut in the skin and there is a bleeding right so you can find bleeding open injuries include cuts grazes blisters and chafing right so i will explain you all these things one by one right so there is a uh, cut in that area uh, right so there is a blisters and chafing and closed injury means uh, the injury is there which is present inside the skin right so you cannot able to see the injury right of course beneath the skin there is no external bleeding right so there is no open uh, cut or there is no bleeding uh, in the structure the closed injuries include bruising pulls strains and the sprains right so these are the examples for the closed injuries right so bruising just bruising means inside the skin there is a rupture of the blood vessels and there is sometimes muscle pull or muscle strain and uh, sprain so the soft tissue injuries right so again uh, the soft tissue injuries may be a open injury or the closed injury so the open injury means the structure the skin become cut and uh, there is a possibility of bleeding and closed injury means uh, there is no bleeding at all so you can see this picture open injury this person is experienced an open injury uh, in the upper part of the eye right so below the eyebrow you can see cuts require immediate attention to stop bleeding and allow the blood to clot right so immediately you know you can see uh, this player got an injury above the eye so this is open injury but grazes or abrasions again you can see the next picture this is known as abrasions right so only there is a scratch right so you can see there is a the uh, skin is removed right so grazes or abrasions uh, where the skin is scraped off the body right so you know the screen is removed uh, so again this uh, problem also you need uh, the immediate treatment right so need to be treated uh, carefully right so this is known as again open injury again you can see the open injury so blisters are caused by the skin rubbing on the other surfaces right so you know Uh, if you are uh, uh, without training if you are uh, walking or if you are running or if you are doing any games or if you are participating in any of the sports activities there is a chances of blisters right so and chafing it is caused by ill fitting clothing or material right so if you are not using the proper shoes or if you are not using the proper clothes uh, while playing any of the games which may uh, leads to some type of abrasions or some type of uh, injury to the skin so this is known as uh, chafing right so uh, just to keep all those things right so just keep all these uh, problems in your mind uh, we will take the lectures very specifically in a joint base region in the later uh, lectures right so these are the uh, superficial lecture right so this is just an introduction uh, about the sports injuries and in the closed injuries you can see the area is uh, closed uh, but bruises occur and small blood vessels are damaged by an impact or sudden uh, wrenching movement right so you know inside there is no bleeding at all right you can see but still there is a rupture of blood vessels inside the skin so which may leads to look uh, uh, means the hematoma formation you can see uh, the area uh, which involved uh, becomes uh, red color right so this you can say it's a closed injuries right so these are some of the uh, examples for the open injuries and the closed injuries in the uh, sports injury category uh next um, i will show you some of the important uh, right which will give some idea about uh, the sports injuries so the first one uh, the sprains right so occur when the ligaments right so you can see uh, this is the sprain and the ankle joint occur get stretched and in this uh, the second picture there is a muscle pull or you can say muscle uh, calf muscle strain uh, because of the continuous or uh, overstretch forcefully overstretch and uh, <clears throat> this is also a problem this is also a uh, common problem uh, that you are uh, you are facing during uh, most of the this right so again uh, there are many types um uh, injuries that you can expect um uh, during uh, such type of sports activities 
so next to that uh, we have to talk about uh, some important uh, heart uh, heart tissue injuries right you can see this first picture is uh, for the dislocation and the second injury you know uh, while weight lifting uh, the weight uh, fallen on his back which may leads to fracture to the uh, Other way, uh, types comes under the heart tissue injuries. Right? So the heart tissue injuries are bone cracks. Comes under the heart tissue injuries. The bone either cracks or breaks. Breaks, right? You know, uh, the cracks means you can say it is an incomplete. Uh, other changes you can find, right? Just clinical features under the heart tissue injuries. You can see bruising and swelling. Bruising means you can have a localized uh, rupture of the blood vessels. And the person will show uh, the localized swelling in the particular region and pain, and uh, there is chances of nerve damage. The limp area, uh, limp or area of the body, the break is becomes immobile, right? So the person is not able to do the movement. And if it is a back fracture, the area will look obviously deformed, right? So you can find uh, the deformity, right? So you can uh, abnormal shape or abnormal uh, shape or abnormal alignment. You can find in cases of if the fracture is uh, high. Or if the fracture is complete fracture. So uh, sometimes in the crucial stages, I told you, right, in cases of catastrophic injuries, right, so that is in the cases of dangerous injury, that is if the involvement is at the level of brain or in the spinal cord, uh, the very important feature is unconsciousness. Sometimes the patient may lose his consciousness, right, so this is known as unconsciousness, right. So conscious uh, confusion is a common cause of uh, unconsciousness. Uh, while playing sport, right? Confusion means if there is any direct injury to the brain, uh, that is known as confusion, right? So, like collection of blood, uh, the, the brain region, which may lead to unconscious. The common causes for painting, painting means lack of blood supply to the brain, or if there is any direct injury to the head, or in some cases, uh, if there is lack of blood supply to the heart, that is known as heart attack or stroke, or asphyxia, again, it is lack of blood supply to the brain. Or in cases of shock, spinal shock, right, injury to the spinal cord or in the brain. So immediately the uh, player may go for unconsciousness, right? So imme immediately we should refer the patient uh, and they should uh, rush to the rush the player to the hospital, right? So this is a very important uh, steps that we have to follow. All right. Uh, next uh, we will see the important uh, uh, assessment, important part of uh, sports injuries right so we have to assess the patient very clearly right so so far we have discussed about uh, what are what is sports injuries what are the types of sports injuries right that is acute and the chronic sports injuries and we have discussed about soft tissue injuries and heart tissue injuries right what are the features clinical features in um, heart tissue injuries and soft tissue injuries and what are the causes for acute injuries and what are the causes for sports injuries and what are the causes for um, uh, soft tissue injuries and uh, heart tissue injuries and its clinical features. Now we will talk about the, uh, the assessment part, how to evaluate the sports, uh, sports injured patient uh, or sports injured persons, right? So I think um, I will take in the lecture number two in detail uh, how to assess uh, uh, sports injury, sports injured persons. So this is a simple slide which explain you what are the steps that you have to do. First thing you have to talk with the patient, right? If the patient is, if the person is conscious, you have to talk with the person and you have to see the observation, right? So then third, you have to touch or you have to palpate that area and let the person to do the movements that is active movements and you do the movement and you check some uh, the things that is uh, passive movements. And uh, if you suspect some uh, problems, uh, you, can, you, are, you can do some special test, right? To confirm problems that is known as a special test or you can say it is Right. So these are the uh, six steps that you have to do uh, in the under the assessment category. Once you assessed, right? So once you find, uh, once you diagnosed, or once you assess the person, uh, you have to give the treatment. Uh, right. So the treatment uh, vary. So you know, if the problem. Rice means rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Right, so this you might be knowing, right? So rest means immediately after any acute injury, you should allow the person to take rest for at least two to three days. 
don't allow the patient uh, to do any movements and the second one is uh, eyes you have to apply the eyes over the region at least for 24 hours and compress the area with the help of uh, crab bandages and elevate the area right and there is should not be no harm right so give rice and no harm harm means should not apply heat to the area don't allow the person to take the alcohol and don't allow do any functional movements that is running or something like that or no massage in the particular area so uh, for the acute injuries right so the very clear treatment give rice and no harm right give rice means you have to give the rest you have to give ice you have to give compression and you have to give the elevation what are the harm no harm means harm means h for heart there is we should not give heart to the area in cases of acute injury a allow not allow alcohol uh, running that is don't give any functions and m yeah, no massage the particular region and if the case is a chronic injury right so if it is a chronic injury uh, you can give go for analgesics right so it is a long term problem long term medical history problem and immobilization right so give the rest properly with the help of splints or with the help of plasters or with the help of bed rest and give immobilization you can go for corticosteroid injection right so if the problem is uh, continuous you can go for injection in the particular region or you can ask the person to go for phys taking physical therapy treatment or in final stages the person may be indicated for surgery and uh, the rehabilitation is the after all these things you can go for the general rehabilitation procedures so uh, these are the chronic injury management so the injury management uh, for acute and chronic cases are different right so i have explained in detail and uh, the injury prevention right how to prevent the injury right so uh, so we are supposed right as we physical therapists or sports uh, sports therapists or uh, coaches uh, or the trainers so the sports trainers are always trying to prevent the injuries always trying to prevent the injuries right so that is prevention is better than cure so uh, we are always trying to uh, emphasize the preventive methods or preventive training modal uh, train techniques to the uh, players or the athletes so the proper training right so how to prevent the training proper training competing at the appropriate venues right so the we have to select the proper areas where the person to play and uh, the surfaces the surfaces should be perfect for playing uh, with adequate clothing right so they need the proper clothing uh, for the particular games and we have to be very clear, careful of the uh, shoes uh, that is footwear and always you have to wear the proper protective equipment right so we have to take all the precautions uh, to prevent the such sports injuries right uh, correcting the poor technique right so you know if the player or the athlete is doing any some uh, wrong techniques right? for example uh, playing badminton or in the tennis or in the golf uh, right if the player is uh, playing the wrong techniques right we should uh, correct the techniques right so uh, or biomechanical alignment abnormalities right so if there is any abnormal uh, body movements uh, which may produce the problem to the structures right so we should be very careful and we should correct that uh, abnormal techniques we should correct that poor techniques and in such manner we can reduce the sports injuries right so or we can prevent the sports injuries right and finally under the rehabilitation stage right so start with alternative training right so uh, we have to train the person with some other uh, techniques right so that is alternate training so circuit training right so you have to give different type of uh, treatments right so uh, that is known as the circuit training and we should make the person uh, fit that is known as conditioning and you have to increase the aerobic capacity of the person that is uh, comes under the endurance and um, in some cases uh, in some players they need good flexibility right so you have to you have to train uh, stretching exercises flexibility exercises to the person so you have to go for the flexibility training in some games or in the events they need good uh, muscle strength so in such cases you have to go for the strength training exercises or same way in need, if in the need of flexibility you have to go for the stretching techniques uh, we have to train the proper warm up techniques and weight training techniques right so uh, these are the common uh, treatment right so don't say these are the treatment for all the type of injuries right so you have to assess the person uh, very clearly and according to the requirement of the player right according to the requirement of the player and according to the uh, type of injury and according to the location of injury you have to select the proper 
uh, treatment modalities again the prevention of sports injuries right so you have to go for the proper warm up uh, means uh, the stretching and uh, free movements you need to take proper cool down phase and you have to take the proper uh, water adequate water that is hydration and the players has to follow the proper techniques or the correct techniques and they have to use the proper equipment for the proper in the particular games or conditioning of the person right condition of the player right how whether the person is fit for the game that is known as physical conditioning facilities management right so if they need any other facilities right so we should provide to the person right so that is known as facilities management balanced opponents right so they have to fight with the equal uh, opponents right so the opponent should be equal right so that is balanced opponents and the rules and enforcement right so always you know uh, they have to follow the strict uh, guidelines of the particular uh, games so if you follow all these things right so you can prevent uh, major part of the sports injuries right rehabilitation uh, principles right avoid aggravation right so when you are playing any games Uh, don't be aggravated right so uh, so you know you should not allow the injury or you should not allow the problem more so that is we have to avoid the aggravations and the timing in the correct time you have to prop, uh, take the treatment and the complaints right? so they should be uh, accept they should accept or they should uh, agree the treatment for and individualization for every patient uh, the treatment should be specific right so individualized or uh, individualized treatment protocol should be Uh, given and specific sequencing the treatment should be given in a proper order um, uh, the intensity of the treatment right so select the intensity of the treatment according to the uh, type or according to the person or according to the games and uh, we have to consider the amount of patients who are involved right so these are the some of the important principles uh, when you are treating a sports injury patients so uh, these are the uh, please uh, try to con- uh, understand uh, the important uh, concepts or important principles or or you can say it's important criteria for doing this uh, sports injury uh, treatment for the or management for the sports injuries and additional tips right so what are the important tips that you have to follow drink enough water based on the activity at temperature levels right so you ask the player to take uh, the required amount of water to prevent the dehydration and educate athletes on proper nutrition for performance right so they have to take the proper nutrition or the proper balanced nutrition uh, according to the games uh, they are involving supervise equipment maintenance right so you know uh, you have to regularly check the uh, the protective equipment whether they are uh, good or whether they are fit uh, so you have to check the regular checking of the protective equipment or very mandatory and encourage athletes to speak with an athletic trainer coach or physician if they are having any pain right so uh, this is very important right whenever uh, the players or the athletes uh, facing any type of pain or any type of discomfort uh, when they are playing so they should be informed to the uh, coach or the trainer or the physician immediately and uh, always encourage the patient uh, encourage the player or the athlete uh, before participating in any games they should go for the proper right so at least 10 to 15 minutes of warm up is uh, required and once the game is over they have to cool down their body right so we have to always encourage the uh, players to go for the proper warm up and the cool down uh, routines and encouraging proper strength training routines right so you have to um, so proper training right so according to the games uh, they are involving or they are participating we have to they have to go for the proper uh, training uh, protocols mandating pre competition physical exams right so they should go for the pre exams right so whether they are fit for the particular games right so these are the additional tips that uh, we have to follow we have to take care to prevent such sports injuries <coughs> so that's all about this lecture right so this is a overall view about the sports injuries the types of sports injuries uh, right the features of the sports injuries and the management uh, how to diagnose the sports injuries the management prevention and rehabilitation so in the next lecture in lecture number 2 i'm planning to take uh, the detailed assessment of the sports injuries right so the second lecture uh, will uh, concentrate on the detailed assessment of the sports injuries and thank you so much